All right, so now that we have our picture open in Photoshop, what we're gonna do is for this part of our assignment, we're going to add some adjustment layers. Now, you guys remember what our panels look like? What's this one over here with the tools? What's that called? The toolbar. Okay, this one up on top. The option bar. Okay, and then over to the right side, we have some other panels. We have some color panels. We have a properties panel, which is really important. We have an adjustments panel, which we're going to use for this photo. And then scrolling down, we have a layers panel. Okay, everyone, I want you to unclick this lock on the layer with the background, and we are going to double click the name of it and rename it Ellie E-L-E -L -E, short for elephant okay yeah. then press enter E-L-E -E. what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two adjustment layers um, these are just editing techniques on a full image so in this adjustments layers panel over here on the right hand side you're going to see lots of different buttons that look like this and they're all labeled different things okay so the first thing that we're going to do is add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer okay so click on the icon and it's going to bring up two sliders Okay, so there's two sliders um, that we're going to be changing. Now, I want you to drag your eyes down to the layers. Look at our layers. There's a, a blank white layer. This is what we just added as an adjustment layer. You see how it's indented on top of the elephant layer, and there's this link here. That means it's attached to the elephant layer as an adjustment. Okay, we're going to be adding a few of these. So, using your sliders for the brightness and contrast, I'm going to let you decide where you want these so that you can adjust them whatever looks whatever looks good. Okay, we're going to add a second adjustments layer. Now before we do, we have to make sure that our elephant layer is selected. Okay, so we gotta select our elephant layer and then we can go back and choose another adjustment. This one we're gonna do vibrant. And we're gonna change vibrant and saturation. Okay. And you decide where you want those. Okay. Now that we've got two adjustment layers, um, I want you to look at your layers panels. By each layer, there's a little eyeball, and that is the visibility button. So you can undo those and see how your adjustment layers affect your original photo. If you don't like it, you can just delete that specific layer and it makes it much easier so that you don't have to delete the whole photo. So now I'm gonna show you how to save and how to export. We always wanna save our projects as a Photoshop file so that if we ever wanna come back and make changes, we can in the future. So we're gonna go up here and click File, <clears throat> File, Save As, rename it Part 1, edited and make sure it is a Photoshop file make sure it's in your folder and then you can go ahead and click Save okay make sure it's part one edited 
make sure it's in your folder and it 